Good afternoon everybody, it's Friday afternoon, it's about six o'clock <clears throat> and I've just cast on a new project. Can you guess what it is? That's my yarn for it, plus this big ball down here. And I am just watching Stitches in Cream. I'm waiting for Mark to return from the fish and chip shop with some fish and chips. today and I've just finished my shift at work so I'm just on my way home. Thought I'd quickly nip on for a quick chat. There's not much planned today. It's a bit of a sad day because Evelyn's going back to uni. So Alistair's home from Cyprus now and he's coming around with Lewis and they're going to have a nice roast dinner. I don't feel like cooking it if I'm honest but I need to kick myself up the backside and get on with it because it makes me feel better when I know that they've had a good roast dinner in them. Uh, Alistair's taken Evelyn to the station. I don't really want to do that because I'll get sad. It's been lovely having her home. We haven't seen a great deal of her because she's had days out with her boyfriend. But. It just reminds me of the days when Mr B used to say goodbye to me for six, seven month tours in Afghanistan. I'd be crying for days and days afterwards. I'm not going to be crying for days for Evelyn because I know that she's happy but it does make me sad. And although it's lovely having them home for these holidays, it's a bit like when Mr B used to come home for his R&R. &R so they'd get a break halfway through the tour. You wanted to see them for that break, but you knew that two weeks would go so very quick and then you'd be having to go through all the agony of saying goodbye again. <laughs> so it feels a bit like that. But I'm sure it'll just be a couple of weeks and then she'll be home for the long summer holiday, won't it? It's, it's awkward when they're at that age. You still feel, I still feel like she needs lots of looking after and although she likes to pretend that she's very grown up, she's not really. <laughs> she still needs lots of mummy nurturing. So yes, a happy sad day. And the sun is out, but boy, it's blowing a hooli. It feels quite dangerous out there, actually. <laughs> I've not picked up my cardigan because I can't be bothered. I'm not feeling it. 
I feel like it's going to be one of them that's just sat in the project bag now for a long time and I'm never going to pick it back up, which is sad because I need cardigans, but I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling my shawl either. Sometimes you feel like that you could just have like a reset button and everything that you've got in your project bags you just want to rip out and start everything again. <laughs> That's the way I'm feeling at the moment, which is silly, but I'm just not feeling it. I have started something completely different though and um, I've joined all the hype with this emotional support chicken and I've started that. and. As I've said to you before, I'm very much a visual learner, so I think I would have been very stuck had I not had the video to go to. But watching the video, it's like, oh yes, this is a breeze and I'm I'm really enjoying it. So I've nearly come to an end of that one. I need to get some eyes for her. I was hoping to have it done before Evelyn left, but I don't think that's gonna be possible now. And she's looking very pretty and I'm, I'm enjoying that. So I can feel a lot more of them coming. Something completely different, but sometimes you need that, don't you? So I will say have a lovely Sunday, everybody. I'm just going to head off home and start all the prep for the dinner. My tooth is behaving at the moment, but I know it's just a matter of it can misbehave at any moment. I'm still waiting for my appointment and in, still in two minds what to do with it because it's a lot of money, isn't it? If it doesn't, if this root canal doesn't work and I just can't decide at the moment. I feel in one of them moods where I just can't make any decisions, not only with my crafting, but with everything else at the moment. <laughs> and I've been making sales for Mr. B ship and that's taken up two of my afternoons because I started them and they were wrong. He'd put the lines the wrong way. So I had to do them all over again. So he better be grateful. He owes me big time. He owes me a couple of balls of yarn. <laughs> See you later, lovelies. Bye. I forgot to apologize for my wet hair. <laughs> it looks awful. I got out of the shower, went to work, popped it up in a ponytail, just pulled it out and it's still wet. So sorry for that. It's not greasy, I promise. <laughs>
So it's my day off and Mr B's gone away for a week. Now he's back on Thursday, so not quite a week. Uh, so it's just meal for two today and I feel really agitated today because I've been out doing the gardening at the front and I have very fine hair and it's a bit breezy out there so you try doing gardening with fine hair that just keeps coming out of its ponytail and <laughs> itches your nose and then your nose is running anyway so you're trying to wipe your nose with your garden gloves on and then your jeans are falling down at the back giving you a builder's bum and you're too frightened to bend over in case somebody walks past <laughs> so I'm agitated <laughs> but that's done thankfully it's always the most difficult, isn't it, at the start of spring, trying to get you, you know, trying to get rid of a lot of those weeds. I have to sort of break it up and do it in stages, otherwise it'd be tiring work. So it's just tea for one today, and I've just been to the shop and got myself some salmon steak noodles, and I'm going to throw some Mediterranean veg in with that. And then tomorrow we're out with Alistair. We're going to take a trip to Sheffield, I think. And we're going to the Ikea there. And I'm just in. So I'm just in from being outside for a couple of hours. And I'm going to have a nice cup of tea or coffee. And sit down on my bottom and finish my chicken. Oh dear. When you've been out gardening most of the day. And you come to bed and realise that you stripped the bed this morning but you forgot to put the clean sheets on. So all I want to do is get into bed and that's not going to happen. <laughs> However, Bilbo's fine. You're in bed, aren't you? <laughs> Probably wants me to tuck him in and he's dragged my dressing gown all across the floor like he does. Good night, everyone.
morning everyone. It is Wednesday the 10th of April today and I'm just back from work. Uh, Mr B is still away on his travels but I am going to get out and keep myself busy. I had a wonderful day yesterday in Ikea with uh, my son Alistair and my mum. That was wonderful and I just come home from work and decided I need to still get out. Can you go away? Away? Sorry, Bilbo's doing his licky thing again. <laughs> uh, so yes, I am going to go out and I'm going to pop to a lovely farm shop, a big one. I think I took you there over the Christmas period, but I will take you along again and maybe get a few clips where I can. It's very busy out there at the moment because it's still school holidays here, so I am struggling with filming. But if I can get any clips for you, I will. I want to mainly go because I need to get some flour. I want to try and make some sourdough bread because I've read it's 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 good for people with sensitive tummies rather than normal bread. So I want to do some of that and maybe use it for some nice pizza dough as well. So I need to get some bread. My lovely friend Jules is going to send me some starters so I don't have to worry about that. So I just need to go for some flour really and just a little look around. They've got a wonderful home uh, section. Uh, I've got some lovely candles, tea light candles from there at Christmas and I'm right out of tea lights at the moment so I want to get some tea lights from there. And I think there's a, a barber department and a jewels, you know, all the naughty things which I will be trying to stay away from. <laughs> I wish I had a little camera in my car. I haven't yet got one of those yet because I could take you along for some of the journey, but I don't have that as yet. But as soon as I get out, I'll see what I can film. And hopefully it will be anxiety free. I'm not used to driving out so far on my own, but again, I need to try and be brave and it's a lovely sunny day and I just want to get out. I've got loads of housework to do, but housework can wait, can't it? So I will see you later and you can come along with me and keep me company. Bye for now. Bye.
hello i'm back in the car and i'm just about to drive home <clears throat> mr satnav took me the wrong way and took me all the way through lincoln which wasn't helpful <laughs> for my nerves <laughs> but i got here and i got the bits i needed does anybody else feel really awkward when you need to go for lunch on you on in your on your own i felt so awkward there i had some yummy soup and a lovely cup of uh, latte so I tried not to look so awkward when I was eating my lunch <laughs> by texting Gaynor. So sorry, Gaynor. <laughs> uh, gosh, there's some lovely things in there. It's very expensive though. But there was a tablecloth. I think I filmed a bit of that. Oh, it was so difficult to leave that tablecloth behind. It was like a, a pinky, creamy color, ditzy color. Oh, it's so pretty, but it was 50 pounds. And um, no, I was tempted, but I did walk away. I've got two packets of my favorite candles, tea lights to keep me going, and I got the flour that I need for my sourdough. So I am off home and I'm not gonna listen to Mr. Satnav, I'm going to go my way. And that's the back roads way, not all the way through Lincoln. So I'll see you when I get home and I'll show you what I got. See you soon, bye. Oh. I did mean to say that that coffee was from a lady on um, the Kofi account from a few weeks ago, but I drew it out and I had the coffee. So thank you for that. You know who you are, because I can't remember because <laughs> it was weeks ago. But thank you anyway. See you soon. again <laughs> and it took me even further through Lincoln so that wasn't good. I've just got the kettle on because I'm desperate for a cup of tea and I realised I filled my flask up this morning for work for some tea and forgot to take it. <sighs> Dearie me, if my head wasn't on my shoulders I would forget that as well. better be worth it. <laughs> Mr B that is, you better be worth it. Good morning everybody. I'm changing it up this morning and actually having something different than my porridge. I'm going to have some of these pancakes with just some Greek yogurt and some fruit. But I just wanted to show you this one. Look. Pineapple, bananas and coconuts. <gasps> I can't wait to try that. Good morning everybody. It is Thursday the 11th of April today and I'm just quickly nipping on to finish my vlog this week. I'm sorry that it's a bit mismashed. There's lots of clips of garden centres and Ikea trips this week because there's not been much else. <laughs> so if that's not what you like, just fast forward on. And unfortunately not much knitting news apart from this little lady. And she is called Miss Prim. <laughs> Isn't she cute? Here's her tail, her underbelly. <clears throat> and isn't she sweet? I love her, but she's not for me. And this is a pattern from the Knitting Tree LA 
and of course it's the emotional support checking. <coughs> Sorry, I got a gruffy voice this morning. Uh, yeah, so she's called Miss Prim. And she's called Miss Prim because when Evelyn was a tiny baby, I used to call her Miss Prim because she was prim and proper. <laughs> and she's going to fly away to Evelyn because she needs emotional support at university because I think they all do, don't they, when they're away from home. So she's going to pop off to her. Hello. <laughs> she's so cute. And that's about it. I just thought I'd quickly nip on because Mark's due home and I'm still a bit funny about filming in front of him. I'm going to go and do a whole pile of ironing. It's really building up this week because I've been out for two days and I think when you go out for two days you don't get nothing done at home, do you? So I will see you next week when hopefully Hopefully I've made a starter on my sourdough bread, but I've still got a few things to get for that. And maybe there might be a bit more baking because there's been nobody to bake for this week, just, just me. So it's been pretty boring here. The sun's out today uh, and I've done all the gardening so I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to get some housework done, like I say, and then I'm going to pop off for an, another coffee because why not? So I will see you all next week. Lots of love everyone. Bye for now. Bye. Bye for Miss Prim. Goodbye.